Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome. This is Tamaya Robles. I am your credit repair specialist, expert. I am the host of this podcast, Coast to Coast Credit. Welcome, welcome. So let me just address what the obvious is. Uh, my voice changed once again, once again, because we have been down this road before. <laughs> but um, I just want to apologize for um, how my voice sounds. I literally lost my voice completely two days ago so it is coming back um so yeah <laughs> that's why i sound a little messy hey you guys know that i do not edit or anything like that but what i will do is um you know i'm still trying to get over this illness so i might pause in between <laughs> takes i don't even know if you'll even hear it but i'll probably pause throughout the recording so i'm like not like hacking in your ear or whatever but anywho Welcome again. Again, I want to say thank you guys for all the support. Thank you for downloading, sharing, liking, subscribing, for again, scheduling your consultations with me, yo, joining my Facebook groups. Yo, I fucks with y'all. I, I really do. And I appreciate you guys. And I appreciate that y'all fuck with me. It means a lot. It means that you guys are interested. You guys are listening. You guys are hopefully motivated and preparing yourselves um, to break generational curses if needed, to better your your personal credit, your business credit, so on and so forth. I will continue to talk about all aspects of credit, whether it's personal, whether it's business, um, if it's for you, your kids, your family, whatever the case may be anything other pertaining to, I will also continue to encourage entrepreneurship. Like it's so necessary at this point. It, it really is. Um, but I'm not going to keep drawing on that because uh, <laughs> it's going to mess around. I'll get on my little, my, my little soapbox and start talking about the system. <laughs> I'm not going to do that to y'all. But anyway, thank you though. I, I also noticed that people, um, over the pond or listening to me. Thank you for that. I never thought I would actually see any of that. I got my peoples in Africa listening to me, Asia, Europe, it's, it's bananas. And I just want to thank y'all so, 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 so very much. But I appreciate it. Thank you. And, you know, let me just get right into it <laughs> as I do. Now, the title of this podcast is called Why Do People Want Change But Won't Change? Like, like, that's some real shit. This applies not just for people that don't want to get their credit fixed or they want to get their credit fixed, but they don't do shit about it, right? This is not just about credit. This is also just in reference to life in general. It's about a way of thinking, a, a mentality type. You dig me? A personality type. I noticed that even my... um referral partners have this same issue. And I find that to be disheartening because if you're a referral partner and your job is to basically offer the best tools and resources for your potential clients and you don't, you don't see change or you don't really respect how the whole process goes in order to get the best and give your client the best, then you're doing them a disservice, right? It also goes for family. It goes for personal life. It goes, it, this topic stretches across the board in a nutshell, right? So that's what I want to talk about today. That's what I want to talk about. What triggered me was what's been happening in, in my professional life within the past couple of days. And again, it just makes me think like, oh my gosh, this is a real life pattern. This is a pattern. I don't know why I didn't like notice it before, especially in my business. You know, what? I can say why I didn't notice it in my business because I noticed that one of my issues as an entrepreneur, as a credit expert, is um, I have this thing where sometimes I feel like I want more for the client than the client wants for themselves. And again, you might notice the same type of situation that can be applied not just with business but personally right so I might be touching different <laughs> like aspects of your life but you know this is just facts I think this is just a personality trait that some people have I don't 
understand it because I don't have this issue personally. But the real, the, to be real about it, just because I don't have this personality um, blip, okay, doesn't mean other people don't. And it's actually a lot of people. So let me just let me just give you some examples right now. Okay, boom. Starting off talking about credit. Now, I preach about credit and how important it is and the benefits that you can reap from fixing your credit and what you can get from it, yada, 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 to the yada. Boom, we got that. But a lot, and then a lot of the beautiful thing is my clients um, praise me so much when they get their credit score jumping and they're surprised that I'm telling them, on average, I can fix your credit in 60 to 90 days or get, you'll see some deletions and score and changes within the 60 to 90 days. And then it might be two weeks and then they see a jump or like the other day I had a client, she's only been with me for like a short period of time, but she came to me with a new issue and she said, Tamai, I need you to, I need you to flip this 30 day missed payment like ASAP -tual. And I'm like, yeah, I, I don't work magic, but I'm going I'm to I'm do my thing. You know, I'm going to do my thing. Sure enough, the next day, I fixed her issue, flipped her missed payment, and her score jumped 35 points. You know what I mean? So, boom, she's praising me like, oh, my gosh, you know, you're the shit, you're amazing, or whatever. But what I like to tell my clients is, no, it starts off with you. It starts off with you. Congratulate yourself. And the reason why I say that is because it is you that are taking the initiative to fix your own situation. You decided to take the initiative to start this credit repair journey to make this ultimate change in your life. You are the one that recognized that, hey, for whatever reason, I'm not, you know, I don't know, paying bills on time or uh, I haven't paid people and now I have collections in charge of. I've been financially irresponsible. Whatever the case is, whatever the drive was, I, I my family has a history of not having shit. Now I want shit. It's time to break these curses, whatever, whatever. Whatever your situation is, you decided, boom, I want to change. Shit has to change, right? So it's not me. It's you. So you have to, I always encourage my clients, give yourselves a pat on the back. It's because of you that you took the initiative to change. And it's not always easy. It's not always easy. You, you know, you have to want it. You have to have that drive. You have to have, have that desire. And a lot of times we just get comfortable not having. We get comfortable sl being slighted, uh, having less than. Sometimes some of our parents have said, hey, you know, you know just, just try to survive. And when you have that mentality, you don't really think about the future. You don't think ahead. You don't seem to say, hey, you know, I want more for myself. And in order for me to get there, I have to do some changes. Now, some people have been able to take the initiative to change. And then they saw how much work was put into it. And they were like, you know what? <laughs> When I how I was before, I didn't have to put this much work in, so it's not necessary for me to even try, right? I don't know why people do what they do, but I just noticed that this, there's this pattern. There's this pattern. And again, talking about the credit aspect of it is people have all this shit on their credit report, and they want to buy a house, but you got all this stuff on your credit report, Right. So it's like, you come to me, you like my videos, you like my podcast, you know, you like how I talk, you, all this, whatever. And it's like, boom, you set up a consultation with me. You see, I'm a real person. You see, I'm the one that's actually taking your consultation, right? And I'm talking that good shit. I'm like, yeah, this is what we're going to do. This is the plan, blah, blah, blah. And you don't, you don't move forward with your credit repair. You know what I'm saying? And you're like, you know what? You know, oh, you know, it's nice talking to your cool people, you know, and you keep pushing me back. You're not hurting me, you're hurting yourself. That's first and first mostly. You know what I mean? And also, what hurts you is the fact that you can't obtain your goals because 
you can't get out of your comfort zone and you don't want to make the necessary changes in your motherfucking life. That's not that's not on me. We're not gonna put that on fixmycreditnow850.com. We're not gonna put that on Samaya Robles. Okay. But I just I again don't understand how people have the some people have the mentality where they want something, they want some, they want a, something better than their current situation. In order to get that, you have to make some sort of changes, but refuse to make the changes or make refuse to make the necessary changes. Let me say that because that I want to include that as well. Because there are some people that will make cer- certain changes, but they want to cut corners. I'm, if you know me, you've been listening to me for quite some time. I'm always with the shits. Nothing illegal, but always with the shits. If you know me, you know. If you don't, it's okay. All right? Let it go over your head. However, just be, uh, just be realistic. If you're not going to do things correctly or do things the right way, then you're not you're probably not going to accomplish what you need to accomplish wholeheartedly maybe you will maybe you won't but you kind of again this is a story for another time but for the most part you won't be able to accomplish what you're trying to accomplish okay now i want to give you another example outside of credit repair directly or people that are trying to get their credit fixed still in the same ballpark but you know just a different version just so you can see where I'm coming from and what I've been experiencing and why this makes it difficult for me as a credit expert to have all these tools, to have all these resources for you guys. And there's just a whole group of people that just refuse to fucking change or they want stuff, but they don't want to do anything about it. Right. So as you guys may or may not know, I'm part of this nonprofit organization They've officially voted me in as um, the second VP, right? No plus needed, no plus. <laughs> okay, but actually, there's a whole story backstory with this group, so you know, no, it's it is what it is. But anyway, so I, I like to do a lot. If I'm going to commit to something, I like to give 110. percent So that's what I'm trying to do with this group, just to help help assist the chapter with moving forward. Now, uh, you know. I'm not going to say anything in, as far as details are concerned, but there was this one particular person that was like, you know what? We need to do this. We need to do this. You should do this. You should do this, that, and the third. And they're actually talking to me, right? So mind you, this particular chapter has been stagnant for years, years, just not moving, not accomplishing much, except having internal issues that are personal and are irrelevant, to be honest with you. Uh, it's, it does not, it, a lot of the issues have nothing to do with the community and helping the community. And that's where the real fight should be, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. So, to, one of the things I like to try to do to assist is create different avenues and different lanes for us to, you know, put our resources in, go help the public, help the community. So, nobody's thought of these things right like nobody's doing shit they ain't been doing shit so now i'm like yeah i'm i'm gonna start working on these things da, 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 da. and i'm cool with them i complain it i love it right so there's this one individual that's like oh yeah like hopping on the bay band like oh yeah you should do this and this should be done and then all and that magically they got all of these ideas right but i'm already doing a lot as is so why don't you do that shit? <laughs> like that, that's how I'm thinking. Like, why don't you do that shit? Okay. Yes, you're right. I agree. I agree. All of that would be amazing. All of that would benefit us as a team, as a chapter. What are you going to do about that? Because I'm doing this over here. What are you going to do? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> it's like... But I thought we needed change, right? I need. I thought that we were going to do something about it. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm the idea maker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, son. Nah, that's what I'm saying. There's some people, they, they come up with amazing ideas, but they don't do shit about it. Like, nope. 
So that that's another that's another thing. That's another thing, right? I just I just don't comprehend what goes through people's minds when they want so much and do little to nothing about it. Can anybody fill me in? Fill me in. Let me know. You know what I'm saying? Because again, I'm the type of person where if you if you're ready, let me know. Like when I tell people and I speak to the audience and I do my YouTube videos and I'm talking to people, even with the con listen, don't schedule a consultation with me if you're not ready. You understand what I'm saying? If you're not about that change and you're not ready to change, there's no need for you to schedule a consultation with me, period. And this isn't like a sales pitch, none of that. This is facts because what's going to happen is you're going to waste my time when I could be helping somebody else who is willing to make the necessary changes, who is ready to start their credit repair, who is ready to break generational curses. But you're holding them back because now you're wasting my time, my company's time, my business's time, life's time, the world's time is wasted fucking energy because you want to pussyfoot around something that you don't have the audacity or the balls to do yet. I'm going to just be a hundred with y'all. Say that. I'm not there yet. If you want me to hold you and coddle you, let me give you the holding coddling version. Okay. Well, maybe right now is just simply not your time. I mean, you know, some people are ready um, sooner than others, and some people are ready to progress and move forward. Uh, and maybe you feel like you want to, but realistically, it may not be your time. And I understand that. So whenever you feel that you're comfortable enough to move forward and you're ready to make the necessary changes. Come back and see us here. Fix my credit now. <laughs> Y'all know I don't talk like that. Fuck that. We're going to keep it a bean. Because one thing I noticed since I moved out here on the West Coast is if you don't talk to people like that, then, and you talk like straight and direct, what? You're... You're aggressive. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm going to just be aggressive then. You know what I mean? Why am I going to be aggressive? Because it's uncomfortable for people to change. It's scary to change. I know this. I know this. And if I didn't change, and if life didn't throw me hard-hitting situations to force me to fucking change, I would have never changed. You dig me? I would have never become who I am today. If somebody was to coddle me and lie to me and bullshit me, I would never change. I would still be the ignorant ass, broke ass, bum ass, Tamaya Robles with fucked up credit on welfare still, still trying to scam motherfuckers. You dig me? So. I'm going to talk like this because we have come complacent in society. We have come complacent. We have gotten used to relying on the other man, <laughs> right? So I am going to get on my soapbox just a little bit today. We've been relying on the government. We've been relying on the system. I had a, I had a, uh, I had a client the other day, the matter of fact, the woman, the young lady, the, the young woman that I needed to overturn her mispayment, uh, and it needed to happen ASAP, and I got it done in a day, right? So prior to that, I'm trying to get all the information necessary so I can execute this this miracle, right? It's not a miracle, but we'll just we'll just be dramatic. This miracle, right? So I'm getting all the information. I'm like, all right, I need this, I need this, I need this. So she was like, oh, should I just call the bank? I said, listen, we're going to utilize all of our resources, whatever works, that's what we're going to do. Like, let's all get down and dirty, roll up our sleeves and make shit happen, right? So she's like, all right, I'm going to call the, call the bank. I was like, okay, cool, boom. This is what you say to the bank. But boom, 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 right? Okay. 
she calls me she calls me back she was like they were just like oh okay yeah we understand there's a problem thank you thank you for acknowledging it and you know we're not going to do anything about it they brushed her off and i was like did you call them back <laughs> you know what I'm saying? who did you talk to did you talk to a manager Da-da-da. she was like yeah 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 i did ask to speak to a manager very good and then she said but that's what he said and i said fuck that call him back and be like yo if you don't handle this these are the consequences how you're reporting my shit this is a problem. You're violating my rights under the FCRA. We're going to have a problem. I'm going to report you to here, here, and here. Acknowledge in writing on a letterhead that you caused this problem. You recognize that there's a problem and that there is no problem anymore. You fix it. Give it to me in writing with a signature. Y'all niggas got 48 motherfucking hours. And I said, say it with your chest. She was like, oh, okay. My, this is a classy lady. Like, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I guess, yeah. <laughs> so what she did was she called them back and she said it with her chest and came back and was like, so they sent me an email. <laughs> they, they acknowledged what they did wrong. They also forwarded me proof of what they electronically sent to the credit bureau, right? And they will also provide me with a letter on the letterhead. <laughs> it worked. I, I didn't know. And I said, she said, but why didn't they just do what they were supposed to do in the first place? And I said, because this is, system is built to work against you. And the system has been in place for so many years, for so many generations. Our grandparents, our great grandparents, all they know is rely on the system, rely on the government, rely on the credit. It's okay. Rely on the banks. Take what they say and then run with it. No, stop being complacent because if they really gave a fuck, you wouldn't have these issues on your credit report, right? Okay, cool. So they're here to take your money and make it very, very difficult for you moving forward, okay? So you gotta, you gotta get uncomfortable. You got to get out of your comfort zone. You got to stop talking sweet and nice and, hey, would you please, could you please, would you pretty please, could you, would you, would you? Fuck that. Even when I write my dispute letters, I'm telling you. Let me know if you want to see a few. Go to fixmycreditnow850.com. Go to the letter vault, and you can check out some of the letters. I talk to those bureaus like there's some Negroes on the street. I do not give a fuck because what they're doing is so major. It's a violation. It shouldn't be fucking happening. And I, I'll be damned if I'm going to roll the fuck over. I'll be damned if I just take what you guys have to say with a grain of salt. I'm not going to be comfortable. You're not going to rock a by me to fuck to sleep. Meanwhile, you're destroying my credit. I can't get a house. I can't get a car. I can't get a car for my kid. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm not going to be, do I know how to talk without cursing? Yeah. Do I know how to speak professionally? Sure do. Am I going to do that when it comes to the credit bureaus when they're fucking over my credit? The hell no. Hell to the no. So why, why would I expect y'all to do that? Stop being complacent. Get out of your fucking comfort zone. If you truly want change, you truly want a fucking house, you truly want a car, you want better credit, Get out your fucking comfort zone. Get out of it. First and first mostly. There cannot be change without change. You have to change in order for there to be change. You can't just like twiddle your thumbs and daydream and be like, oh my God, I wish all this would happen to me and then like rainbows and kittens and whatnot. And then don't do shit about it. The fuck? Where they do that at? Everywhere. And who, who, who's winning off of that? No one. Not you. Okay? Not you. Don't be that person that's pointing fingers talking about, I want this, I want this, I want this. And you don't do nothing about it. What you want to do about it then? You want it? What you want to do? What you want to do? Get uncomfortable. Get uncomfortable. Let me tell you, if you're too comfortable in life, there's a fucking problem. I don't care if you got money. I don't care if you have a lot of money. I don't give a shit. This goes across the board. If you're too comfortable, 
there's a problem. You sleep when you're dead, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You grind out, you 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 accomplish goals. It is going to be a challenge. And it's okay. It's okay. We have the tools and the resources here to help you, but I can't jump in your body and want better for you. Get up off your ass and fucking do what needs to be fucking done. I'm literally giving you guys resources, free game for all the free cheap motherfuckers who eventually come back and pay for my services. Go to DIY on the on my website at fixmycreditnow50.com. You can download dispute letters. You can download the free letter to get your personal information fixed from your credit report. Stop worrying about these dumbass videos and about, hey, does your credit score increase or not if your uh, personal information is removed? Fuck it. Just do it. Do it. Okay? Look into a fucking trade line. I offer trade line. I literally walk y'all through how to get a trade line and what it does for y'all. Stop talking to these creditors and these collection agencies. First of all, stop talking to all collection agencies, but I digress. But stop talking to these people like they're your friends. Oh, they gave me a letter saying, fuck them. Fuck their letter. Did they take it off your credit report or no? Nah? No? Nah? All right, next round. Next round. Kill them. Kill them with it. But I can't give you all these resources and then have you ex expecting your mind that everything's going to change and you did nothing to make a change. Nothing. It costs Bread, it costs money, dinero, whatever the fuck, okay? It's going to cost. If you don't pay me, you're going to pay somebody else. If you don't pay somebody else and you do it yourself, it's still going to cost you. That's being realistic. Is it worth the investment of your future for your family's future? Yes or no? Just be realistic. Nobody's here to judge you. If the answer is no, it's no fuck it. Fuck it, okay? If it's yes, then be prepared to fucking change. Because guess what? Even when you fix your credit, you're going to have to change if you still want better unless you're going to revert backwards, which I beg y'all not to do. I try to encourage you guys not to be repeat customers. But once you get that good credit, you're going to have to change anyway. Because you're going to be a new person. You got a high credit score. You're getting a crib now. You're getting a house. You got the cars. You got credit cards. You got the business credit popping now. You know what I'm saying? Now the loans are turning into hundreds of thousands of millions and whatnot. Now, now you're getting commercial properties and your properties is making you money and all that. That's what we're here for. But how are you going to get it without change? Yeah. Yeah. Do that. Again, don't fucking call me don't schedule a consultation with me unless you're ready truly ready to make a change in your life okay i'm gonna leave off with that notes sorry i sound like a man again <laughs> hopefully you guys are getting a message because that's what's important right real rap you know pay attention anyway be sure to like comment share subscribe join join all my stuff you little free loaded motherfuckers you know what i'm saying all my free shit go on instagram go on uh, instagram what's this at fmncna50 okay I, I don't even know what twitter is it's the same shit i guess youtube same thing coast to coast credit podcast check me out on all major platforms still waiting on apple Still waiting on Apple. But anyway, uh, what is that? I have five Facebook groups, but the main one is credit and first time home buyers plug. Get yourself a real estate agent. Get yourself a lender, a good one. I got good ones. I got good ones. Those that want to partner with me, what's good, y'all? What's good? Get at me. You know what I'm saying? Email me, contact me. I'm not hard to find in these streets. Leave a message, comment, you know, whatever. I got you. And yes, it will be me. But if you're not about that change life, there's no need to even fucking reach out. I'm going to just keep it a being with you. It's not necessary. It's going to waste time. And let's not do that. Okay? But in the meantime, you guys are always amazing. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck on your credit journey. Take care. Bye-bye.